Okay, so welcome back again to part two. So for this part, we're going to animate all the things that we have laid them on the uh, screen here, the yellow background, the shoe, and the text. So let's do that. So we're going to place our, our playhead right here. And first thing first, we want to hide all of these text and everything hidden. And we only have the main background there uh, to be displayed. So uh, we can do that. First, uh, let's uh, select this, apply the transform to it. And now uh, one thing to note, if you want to apply the transform to all of this, uh, all you can do is simply uh, hold on the shift and then select uh, the ones that you want to apply transform to it and then uh, simply go to the transform effect and just drop it here and this means you apply the transform to all of this so this is the first one we apply individually and it's the second one the one that we apply as a groove so once we have that now uh, what we can do is in the x value the mega cell here in the x value we want to type this negative uh, 2000 to hide the text. Let's do the same for the sneaker, uh, negative. Uh, we want to go for Y, so uh, let's just type in 500 to hide the text coming down up here. And then the new arrival, we want to type in, I want to type in 2000 to hide the text. And then the sneaker, the sneaker we want to come out from here. So what we can do, we come here and then from here, you can see zoom out. I will want to zoom out like that and then simply just grab it and uh, placing it here until you hide everything something like that and the next thing is to the color clip we want it to come in this way so let's minimize the corners here and then the transform in the y value we just type in 2000 okay so that's all we have now the next thing is to at the keyframe. So the first thing to come in is the yellow and the shoe. So let's uh, place the playhead somewhere here, like uh, let's say five seconds or six seconds in, and then at the keyframe and change the value of Y to zero. So that's what we have. The next thing is the sneaker. So still in line with the yellow here, we want the sneaker to come in. So that's what we have. We just add the keyframe here and then grab onto the center and just bring it in like that. And uh, we try to al arrange it so that it can be in the center like this. And once we have that, now let's move up the playhead a little bit up by uh, two or three seconds. So let's make it another uh, up to 11 seconds. And then we have the text coming in. So we uh, select the first text here is the new arrival so once we have that let's add a keyframe and change the value to zero so we have the new arrival and then let's bring it like this uh, and then select the sneaker and then the keyframe there okay so while selecting this let's select the sneaker still in line with the uh, keyframe of the new arrival uh, select the sneaker Add a keyframe there and then move your playheads a little bit up, like up to 16 or 17 uh, seconds in. And then you can add your a keyframe for the next text there and type in here zero. And we have the sneaker coming up. And then uh, let's do the mega sales. So selecting still on this keyframe, selecting the mega sales uh, cliff there and then add a keyframe. And then move a little bit in. The reason why we have to add double keyframe because it's going to be just come in instead of uh, from here traveling up. It's kind of a mixing with these other ones here. So we want to have this so we can have a neat uh, animation coming in. And then now let's add the keyframe there and change the value of X to zero. Okay, so the next thing in the video is to uh, get the uh, remove is to uh, animate the text out and then we increase the size of the sneaker something like that so let's do that so once we have that and then let's move the playhead all the way somewhere here just give a little bit time for the anim uh, the everything to be uh, on display and then once we have here we want to remove all the text and then increase the size of the sneaker so let's do that our first text is the new arrival so let's select that 
at the keyframe, add a little bit uh, move a little bit of uh, frame in, and then add another keyframe and change the value of x to negative value of x to 2000. Okay, so once we have that, let's uh, lift the playhead as it is, uh, select the sneaker, add another keyframe there, and then move a little bit, and then add another keyframe and change the value of y to 500 again to remove the shoe there. And then still on there, let's select the lasa text there, add a keyframe, and then move a little bit in like that. And then add another keyframe and change the value of x to negative 2000. Okay. And then let's move from here, move a little bit in, add another keyframe, and then move a little bit in like that. And then this time to animate the shoe, to increase the size of the shoe. So what we're going to do is select the still on this keyframe, select the uh, shoe cliff there, add a keyframe, and then move a little bit in like this, add a keyframe, and change the value of... Uh, size to let's say 150 and then also move from there to fill up this space here something like this so we can use the x value to move out like this and i want to put a different overlays here so let's go here and then select a different okay, i think i like this one this the main border that i don't go over this i just have to be inside here but sometimes you can just go a little bit over that so that means I have to come back a little bit in and then from the Y value, just come down a little bit like that. Okay, so everything should be inside this uh, border here. Okay, so this is the second part. The third part is up here. You can click on to watch the next part.